our favorite holidays are coming up. A time to celebrate with friends and family. But it's really not just about us that's the star. It's all about the bird. Hi everybody, I'm Lance with Fossil Farms here with Chef Ben DeFer from Fossil Farms. Ben, these turkeys look more than good. I know, my stomach's growling. We're gonna talk a little bit about these and about what makes our birds special, a little bit of tips on how to prepare them. It all starts with a beautiful premium product, fresh all natural turkeys from Fossil Farms. Okay, so now we're gonna season our, our spatchcock turkey. We're gonna take a pat of butter. We've already gone through and we've loosened the skin away from the breast meat. Here, we have that, that backbone that we pulled out of our, our turkey. We're gonna add in mirepoix. These vegetables will absorb a lot of the juices. They'll keep the turkey off the bottom of the pan. And typically, it's about 50% onion, 25% celery, and 25% carrot. All this on the bottom is gonna absorb the juices of the turkey. And that's what we're gonna be basting the turkey with as we go through. It's important to baste your turkey about every 20 to 30 minutes throughout the cooking process, just to keep those juices flowing from top to bottom. So now we're gonna talk about seasoning. Seasoning's super important um, with anything you do, but especially when you're doing a large roast like a turkey. So you can use a liberal amount of salt. A lot of this will uh, get absorbed by the fat and the basting juices and end up in the bottom of the pan but this will also help in the, in the crispness and the dryness of the skin. And for me, I'm just gonna use some fresh ground black pepper. Again, liberal seasoning. Once you put this in the oven and that skin tar starts roasting, it's really pretty much impossible to add more seasoning to it at that point. So you're better off getting your seasoning on now, understanding that most of it will end up in the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now that we've done all this work to these amazing, beautiful turkeys, we've either spatchcocked them, we've trussed them, now it's time to get to cooking. For me, I like to start my birds in a warmer oven at about 420 degrees for at least the first 45 minutes. That'll allow the browning and the caramelization of the skin to take place, and then we're gonna lower that temperature down to about 350 degrees to finish. Again, we have our turkey with our mirepoix, well seasoned. I'm gonna place it in the middle of the oven, on the middle rack, not on the bottom, not on the top. 420 degrees for 35 minutes will give you a nice browning. And then after that first 20, 30 minutes, we're gonna knock it down to about 330, 325 degrees. Figure on 20 minutes per pound, but really you wanna be looking for internal temperature. We, we suggest you pull your turkey out at 145 degrees internal temperature and allow it to rest for at least 30 minutes before carving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving from all of us at Fossil Farms.